Hey there, welcome back to more Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, right now we're going to go hunt down Fing Fing Foom. It's a legendary dragon that goes around in space, I think. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit witches, it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. It's me, or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Maybe Hellbender will go for it. Why wouldn't she? It's okay. a literal dragon. Well, I ain't seeing no foom foom. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Just oh! 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 The legends of raining fire are true. Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death. Well, as long as it's glorious. I thought he just committed suicide. We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mark the Floor, like so many of my people before us. Someone remind Rax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive. We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive. And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada. So on this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? All right, Drax. Let's channel some of that excitement towards this rock. I shall pretend it is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. Who's they? Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be our last chance to take anything in. You think Foom's in there? If fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. <laughs> Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with uh, like Beowulf. <laughs> didn't Beowulf have a dragon? Because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> I might be thinking about a different book. Ain't no one writing a book about us. Is that like a Marvel Comics here. reference? Can't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together. They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foom? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah! Part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. I mean walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy. Makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chow. If we all die, we will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. I once heard that Bing Bang Foom. The appetizer. Okay, team. We can't make quick work of this thing, and we got no right going after Fin Fang Foo. Well said, Peter Quill. I really hope this Lady Hellbender plan works. I'm surprised we even have a plan. Do your thing. Steps of so many of my people. Too bad ain't none of them ever survived. 
As far as we know. How do I hurt this armor it is our destiny! For the sake of the galaxy, I hope you're right. I like that cut of just rocket flying in the air, shooting him. Epic. Okay, so he's going on a scale of one to ten. How much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? Ten thousand. That's what I think. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Obviously, our chances of pulling this off. He's not wrong. A lot. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa, get a load of them claw marks. They've gotta be Fooms, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah, uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Good tip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to cross here too. Just not sure how. It looks like there might be a ledge hiding under all those rocks on the other side. I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. His fleshy frame would make a poor instrument of demolition. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. I can pull that. Let's just say we do catch the thing. We're just gonna drag him all the way back. I'll call them yeah. over and we'll hook him up with the tow cables. Final step, Drax. If we ah! Ah! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Drax, I know you've been waiting for this a long time. Enjoy it, man. Thank you, Peter Quill. I must admit that with everything that has happened, I need... Everyone get ready. There's something up ahead. Like what? What do you see? Uh, okay. That's, uh, another slug. More boom food to deal with. Do not underestimate anything that the supplies the parents of this planet. Good advice. Blow the way, Rocket! Careful! No, they don't look like the worms I used to have. <laughs> I used to have. Several legendary attacks. I will not spoil the surprise. Thanks for not spoiling it. No, I don't say this enough, but I really appreciate you guys. And the hunt for Fin Fang Foo continues. Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Foo, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let's hope we're not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through here. There, see? More ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not, but smart ones do.
All right, guys, take your turns. Please Don't skip. Bill. They say that Fin Fang Foom uses the planet's treacherous surface to test would be adversaries. <gasps> Another costume. How do you know? She's an assassin? I bet she's gassed all kinds of famous people. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh huh. So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out. Cowardly. I want full credit. For the last time, Drax, we're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. Alright, that should be it. It's pretty convenient that every planet we visit has those gas things. down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Instead of giving her... Nice, got all in one go. It's Groot, loving the initiative. So trajo to glug. So trajo to glug. El dador morga. What's this? Is that a sword? This is definitely in Drax's wheelhouse. A new garden collectible found. You found Zatar's blade. Drax might have something interesting to say about it. You know, there was something in the ship back in the Milana that I forgot to talk to. It might have been Rocket. I forgot to talk to him about something. So I'll be sure to do that when I get back to the Milana. I'm not being mean. I'm serious. Gonna push it over, Drax. More resilient than a boulder. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. That was a close one. I was gonna say I love you guys, but I got interrupted by that fucking mountain going down. Am I missing something down there? Can I get that? I like how Groot just hums, because... Oh, hold on, wait. Did I go the wrong way? Uh, no, I didn't. Very, very sharp. <laughs> this is nothing compared to the legendary teeth and claws of Fin Fang Foom. You know, I'm going to be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. I mean, if we defeat Fing Fang Foom, he does not live up the hype. Ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender, and we carve through the rest. Is everything okay? <laughs> Channel that murder spray toward the real bad guys. Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? 
Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. I thought the game was about to let me choose to let her do that or not. I would have been like, wow, that's a heavy choice. Literally anything bad happens, Drax sinks. I can highlight it, but can't really do anything about it. And I can't um, scan it either. That's weird. Am I gonna learn like a different ability to help me break through that here? Hello? We're looking for Fin Fang Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? I knew it! Oh, it's fire, right? Because one of the enemies had, like, fire weakness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. All right, charges up. Melt that one too. And that one. I am so jealous right now, Will. You should be. Does the MCU Quill has these guns or no? Because I don't I remember that this in the movies. To us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. Ugh. I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun boys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh, yeah. The zipper. Man, I gotta fix that thing. I did not see that. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No. That's pretty good. Captain Fireball. Not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat block. Captain Heat Block. No, no.
Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Can you give me another ride, Groot? You can stop there. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Wendigo! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star Lord! Wendigo. Oh, Wendigo. Just me, or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Interactive, Always common fungus well. capable of projecting clouds of highly toxic trees. spores. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says, "Watch out for those plants with all the holes on top." I sense our arrival. Rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Unlikely. We Ooh, story. the crap out of that ugly dweller thing. And spanked both blood brothers. Tromax the elder. I don't care. Yeah. You know, we're developing quite the reputation. Maybe Foom's hurt. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Ah! It burns! Who says they've got corrosive spores? Maybe don't get too close. Yeah, I got it. Where nothing's trying to kill us. With nowhere and contracts are wrecked, all of our favorite drinking holes are gone. The Milano is still intact. Mostly, yeah. Uh. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another affair. Star Lord. Plasma shots deal damage over time to their target. They are especially effective against enemies with a lot of health points. Oh, they're called plasma shots, not fire shots. Where'd it go home? <laughs> Get it? Never work play, Peter Quill. Chop, chop, Gamora. Throw that tracks. I didn't mean to do that. Why have you called us off the battlefield, Peter Quill? Our enemies are melting before us. <laughs> like butter on a hot knife. <laughs> Somebody bring me some bread. I have fought many battles, my friends, but none so magnificent as this. Magnificent, Drax. Unbelievably, insanely magnificent. <laughs> right? Like a fork and supernova. So stay on track, keep your eyes open, and shoot for the stars. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Yeah! I wonder how many of these speeches they recorded. I'm really curious, because you can probably do a bunch of times, but I wonder how many times exactly. Next time we hunt monsters on a tropical paradise. Like a hot knife! 
Go fuck yourself. Ah, a good fight pours the blood. Bonus of having these bombs. You remind me of the abominable snowman. They're about to be snow horses. Done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. Oh, the frames. Heads up! Did they just hurt us into their shoe? Looks more like a dinner plate. Let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. Perish! Keep the breathing room, Groot! Alright, gotta take care of some of these guys. No, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Just you. Stop the way, Rocket! That was 
Oh, was that a massive shot? Oh, boss battle time. Let's do this. with some kind of curveball. Trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! We are! I just love these huddles. Come on, put him down! You can admire him later! I'm really curious of what Groot's like last special ability is. This reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area. Yeah, you think we just turned on a thumper? Hold up, Wrap him up, bud! Alone now. For now. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, crew, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out below! Ha! Battle work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Any more hostiles. Or could be friendlies. Warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What? Barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, baby back ribs. Uh, that is not good. Whatever it is, it smells. Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Yeah, undoubtedly it could be him. No doubt about it. Foom is a dragon, right? Am I am I right on that? I'm pretty sure he is. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for Foom. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. 
When is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, let's give her a tip or some advice out in space. God, how scary would that be? A virus Sorry in space that, that basically <laughs> gets Dead any ship or planet. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? Ruby Thursday. Wasn't there a story back in um, nowhere about Ruby, or was that someone else? What of it? Relax. I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah. No workbench. May as well put it to good use, right? Bad what do I have left? I was hoping that this workbench mechanic would like give you more abilities, the more upgrades, but I guess that's not how it works. By abilities, I mean like those things you can like do, those special moves while you're fighting. Firing rate doubled when health drops below. Is that it? Is that all I have? All perks. I think that's it. Oh, no, there's two more. Avoid falling prone by dashing when hit with a knockdown blow. I can do both. It's all yours. It's and all that yours. should be all. Oh, never mind. One left. I should be done with it by the next part. Super Quill Punch. The Super Quill Punch is a strong melee finisher that will grant extra health drops when landed successfully. Dash towards an enemy with B. Upon connecting with the enemy, press X. You receive extra health drops if the attack kills the enemy. I was hoping we'd do better against Boom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. I doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I've appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, we shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Boom may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Maybe I can find enough components to get that last upgrade. Hopefully? No, I don't think so. I need a lot. Oh, look at that body. I'm assuming we're supposed to go through this way. All right, people, let's catch us a dragon. Yes. It is a dragon. I was right. Great destiny. I remember You're correctly. Awful, Chipper, considering Boom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. Whoa! Oh, I like this so much. Kind of. Whoa, what the hell happened? Oh my god, so fucking fast. Of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're gonna get back up or how we're gonna get boom up there. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and boom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh, a costume. What did I get? Katathian monk outfit found. A Katathian monk. Ah uh, yes, the robes of a Katathian monk. They are rare pacifists who seek to clear their minds and avoid all violence. I own one because they are incredibly soft against my naked skin after a shower. 
first appeared in All New Guardians of the Galaxy 1, May 2017. You know, for going against Fing Fang Foom, Katathian clothing, best suits his mission. For this. How old are you? Old enough. You won't say? That old? No, that young. I was grown, remember? I ain't gonna brand myself with how many cycles I've been sucking down air. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fai Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! <laughs> Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock of scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we disrobe. <laughs> I don't know, this Drax is actually funnier than the MCU Drax. My blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Gross. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Any last film stories, Drax? They say the great beast has one weakness. You're telling us now. It is said that Fin Fang Foom is helpless before the friendship of five brave warriors. Aww, he's... So, uh, where is he? Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Fin Fang Foom. We meet. Now die. Bring it, you overgrown lizard! Looks like he just did! 
There's no way we defeat him. Why have their fur? Him. Come on, almost there. Hey, 
Hey, we did it. Nice. Yes! We stand triumphant. Who must fallen? We screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! Two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see Enough. That... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. 
But we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <clears throat> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you in church, Grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. I am good. Oh, yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Man, this thing is ugly. Thought we could use it if we ever need to hide our identity during a job or something. First of all, a Glarnot mask ain't no identity. Glarnot, they're that gang from the Planet of the Rain's Emeralds or something, right? Or am I confusing them? It's diamonds. Oh, yeah. And B, there's only two jobs I've ever needed a mask. The time me and Groot knocked over a top secret lab. Really? Oh, yeah. The other time is when I borrowed a Glarnot mask and accidentally stole Groot from the collector. How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong, and then Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Halfworld. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place... He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid Flarkin pedestal! Ah, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax. Anyways, I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aww, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. Truth is truth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me and group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and group. <laughs> wait, wait. And Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was flarkin' hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times it's a trap. Yup. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a frickin' cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's... terrible. Yep, well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon. So, 
I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. Nice stories. What is this? Rocket, you want how much for these things? When I said matching gold costumes, I meant gold colored, not actual attacking gold. We want potential clients to think we've got wealth, not wear right on our sleeves. That makes us a target. Here's the deal. When the time's right, we'll give these costumes a test run. If they survive it without any holes, I'll set up with you at, say, 6% of what you're asking best I can do. They look flarking amazing, by the way. Team costumes? So, how was it uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? Did she have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. She better not have said anything about me reaching my big size. No, no. You only turn into Big Fuzzy in one or two fringe realities. What? She wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe, though. N Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished. A great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. So... This great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no Foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, uh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4, to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. 
He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Hopefully, our path will take us to a sequel. Because I would really love another game like this. I don't see. All right, so I'm gonna end it there. Hope you enjoy watching. I'll continue this game in the next one. See ya.